everybody. I hope you're all keeping well. It's Wendy here for Wendy's Crafting. I'm an independent stamp demonstrator. There we are. Wendy's Crafting. Um, Facebook, YouTube, which you're watching, and Blogger. So I'm on all of them. Just putting Wendy's Crafting on the top, whatever it's called. The, um, space, not space bar. Search engine. And you should bring up everything that I've uh, been doing on the internet. Right, today is a case of day. It should have been yesterday, but I'm running a day late because I went shopping with my daughter on Friday. Now, this is what I'm casing today. It's a beautiful flower there. And put it down. Oh, oh that bit so well. Now, then that's that there comes beautiful stamp flowers of friendship and a punch to go with this very useful punch for making flowers you could no end of possibilities use that punch uh, if you see a bundle now a bundle what they call a bundle is a stamp set and a punch or stamp set and a die set i can't remember the other thing is there any more i don't know but if you see both of them as if you see the bundle then it's worth getting it because you say save 10 percent now then can you see that one there no you can't can you let's see if i can tuck you in here somewhere ah here we go now what i've done earlier i've already stamped it that one in any case and now i'm going to stamp oh, don't cover it up wendy i'm now going to punch out these ones so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to stamp them i'm having no end of problems with um with my youtube account so you know if you go on it and you can't leave a comment, just come back later and I will have changed it. For some reason, it keeps changing my comment thingy to disable. Yes, put a disabled, uh, disabled comments and then I've got to go back in and do it all, you know, re-undo it, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm not very happy about it, as you can imagine. Because I'm getting, I'm getting people looking, but they're not making comments because they can't make comments. And that, I know, is so frustrating when that happens. Right, I've done one, and I think I've messed that up. Because... <laughs> Let's see, can I do that there yet? Yeah. Oh, it's not too bad. Just line it up the best you can. You will have that line around it. It's just one of those things. There'll be two of them. Sometimes I get this smack on. However, other times, like today, when I'm trying to do it, it just... The little thing you can do is when you... I work on that one. When you cut it, you stamp it out. Now, you, you know I'm going to get covered in that if I don't put that out the way. Right. Little tip. When you're doing punching out... Then, you know, you try to place it and it's slipping. But what to do? But just press it down. See, it keeps the card in there. Whereas otherwise it would be all over the place. So if you get it in the right position, before you, uh, before you punch it out, just hold it like that, see, and then punch it. Now I've got a little bit of, um, oh, what's it called? The leaves. 
I just wondering, these are the two I'm using. These two. Uh, 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 no, not that one. Where's the other one gone? Uh, where's it gone? There it is. Now, I'm using Archive Link because I don't think my um, my black ink, Memento ink, is looking very good. So I'm going to re-ink re that. The other one I'm doing, I'm doing another two. Risking it doing that Wendy, but maybe it'll pay off. Another two because as you can see there it does need two of each. Cleaner, cleaner, where are you? Yes. I gave it a little scrub earlier on, but if you are using uh, archival ink or this one, have a look because this is a waterproof dye. Now, all it will do, okay, is it'll stain your stamps. That's all. So, if you've got one that, you know, if, especially if you buy it second hand or whatever, you get all, and it puts you off, but don't, don't let it put you off. The stamp works just as well, whatever you do. Um, right, now that brings this back. We'll put these two first. Oops. Oops. Oop, one day. I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. There we go. And you keep it safe. Right, where, where are my four now? One. Two, three, four, right. Now what you could do, um, you could actually go around and cut that white bit off if you like. It bothers some, but it doesn't bother me. Right, I'm using, guess which colour I'm using. Yay! It's purple cosy. I'm using the light one first. Don't worry about it doesn't look too good. You know, I'm not covering all of it, but don't worry, I will. Right, I'm going to pause it now. And I'm back. I'm hoping that it's right. There. As you can see, I have cut some of them off because I went out of line. So that this one doesn't look any, you know, vastly different. I'm going to do the same with a couple of petals. I mean, they're not all exactly the same, you know, so don't worry about it. Flowers grow wild. So the word wild means that they're not the same. I'm just going to take this one down as well and then I'll show you how I'm going to colour these, or how I have coloured them in. Oops, Daisy. Right. Now, with stamping up, it's very good because what you can do, right, do the light one first, okay? Light one first. This one I will put underneath because I've just chopped it into one of the petals so it'll be on the bottom so never mind as they say never worries never mind drafting should be fun and not something you fret about now then what's stamping up do see these lines they do here 
that indicates where there should be a shadow or, you know, or a little bump, a dip in the flower. So take a darker colour, just go over it, and then you go back, oops, back in then with your light purple posy. Groove it. You blending then in the, blending the two colours together. I think I should have left this dry a bit before I coloured it. Here we are. Now, as you can see, this is too. This here now is standing out too much. But I did say I was going to put it on the bottom, didn't I? So that wouldn't matter. Right, now there are two of these. Uh, which two should I put on top? I'll have that one on top and that one. Right, so we're going to make up our flowers now. What you've got there. Oh, after a good back scratch. Now then, get a bit of glue. Tombow glue, it is wonderful. So I'm going to do those two are on the front. So I'm just going to put. You wonder, one day this is going to catch me and it's just going to go splish. And then I'll be crying my, crying in my coffee because it's too much. <laughs> it goes here and then. Of yellow, I've got dark daffodil delight for the middle of the flower. So this one then, that one is the other one. So I put that one to side. You don't need just the other good thing about this glue, you don't need a lot of it. So I put a little dab there and alternate the leaves. Where if, you know, if you watched my video yesterday, then you just see me making some flowers. And when you do flowers, always alternate them. Alternate the petals. So you're not having big holes in there, you know, big gaps. I'm using Daphne Light for that. Now then, next. Now I'm going to colour in the leaves very quickly. I'm using old olive. Uh, old olive is my go-to um, green whenever I'm doing any leaf. Leafs, well, I did say it then. Didn't I? Um, yeah, any any leaf or grass, I go straight to old olive. I haven't filled it correctly because now again you see I take the darker, <laughs> yeah, darker old olive. And I'm just going to put those lines in like that. Oops, not quite like that. But... Make sure you hear that click when you put them back as well because. Um... You know then that they're well and truly shut. I'm not going to worry about that too much. I've got a colour lifter. And once it's dried up, I'll use the colour lifter and then that'll be gone. Very useful uh, um, little thing that is. It doesn't do... It isn't a blending brush. Because I got very confused. Well, it didn't take much to confuse me. You've got these now. Blender pens. Now, what you can do with them is you can... Um, you can dip it into whatever you need to be using and uh, then use it as a pen. Uh, here it is. It's the colour lifter. I think I might be too soon doing that yet, but what it does, it pushes the ink back within 
Steve and I thought he might try and time then. Right, so we're always ready to put the car together. Here we go, now I'm going to put another dab of glue on here. I'm not worrying about c colouring these in because this is going on top of them. Turn that a little bit and then put you in hide, you see, put it underneath and you don't tell anybody. Right, here we go again, back to my purple posy, oops, back to my purple posy. My dark one then, just to give you a bit of shadow. So don't forget if you if you when you watch it and you want to leave a comment, which I would be very glad of, and a thumbs up and if you subscribe, then even better. Uh, I have started making the giveaway for my hundred and fifty subscribers. So um have a chance and you need to just uh, all you need to do is subscribe you don't need to do anything else and there we are my little case of that that flower in the catalogue well i hope you like it and i'll see you all soon bye